guys all right guys so welcome back to uh you know another another video basically it's, uh the continue showing the working out of the kirkhoff uh question the 2022 uh cape unit two past paper physics question here so so previously we spoke about loop a no want to talk about loop b so here is what loop b looks like Okay, in loop B, I would have chosen that my current is flowing clockwise. Uh, so therefore, I2 would be flowing through R2, R3, and R4, respectively. Now, when the current, the, the presumed current, starts to flow through the variable resistor, right? Now, as you can see, there is IL that is flowing downwards, yes? So with that being said, because I am counteracting or assuming now that the currents are flowing in opposite direction, then I have to factor that into my equation when I consider the whole um, Kirchhoff's voltage law equation, so to speak, right? So that that current, in a sense, because you're going in opposite direction, I have to use a negative sign to show that they are not going in the same direction, but opposite direction. Because if you look here, the current is flowing downwards. And my presumed current in the loop is flowing against that. So to make everything right, we have to uh, put a subtraction sign. So to continue, we would go straight into talking about uh, the sum of the EMF um, in that loop, loop B, is equal to the sum of the potential drop across each of the component. Now, Across R, R2, R3, R4, it's the same current that will be flowing. So what I went ahead and did was to count up all of the, out of the resistance, basically, that ended up giving me uh, 30 ohms. And because it's the same current flowing through those resistors, I could just uh, factor out I2, yes? So this is where we have 30 I2, then no, when it reaches, when the current starts to flow towards the variable resistor, yes? Remember, we now we have to talk about the opposite direction that the current is flowing. So to, to make that correction or to make it a right, we just simply subtract the, the voltage here, okay? And as a result of that, this is what our uh, third equation looks like, equation three, right? So... Mind you, when you look at loop B, there is no um, battery or there is no cell in it. So therefore, uh, the sum of the EMF is actually equal to zero. Now, you might be wondering, what are we going to do with these equations, right? Now, the aim really is for us to um, find the value of uh, IL, yes? And so we're going to use some method of... Uh, possibly substitution and uh, see if we can best figure out what IL is. Yeah. So this is what we're going to do here. We are going to reduce this equation here to, in a more simple, simple form. I can uh, rearrange it to get that 30 IL, right, is equal to 30. I2, right? 30 and 30 will cancel out. Come on on both sides. So leaving me with this new equation, basically, to say that IL is practically equal to uh, I, I2. So if I am able to figure out what, um, what I2 is, then I am more able to solve the problem. Yes? And so, in order for me to do that, this is the next thing that I'm going to do. Okay. So, first thing first, let's uh, substitute. We're going to substitute I1 in the equation 2. Yeah. So remember from Kirchhoff's um, first first law, current law, it says that I1 is equal to 